we have a new NHL record, folks. It is the record for the most points in an NHL playoffs debut. And it was accomplished yesterday in a game where Connor McDavid scored four points and his team still lost. Well, you kind of already know who we're talking about because you can probably read, which is why you clicked on this title and video. Today we're talking about the Los Angeles Kings prospect, Dominic Kubalik, who ended up scoring five points in the span of two periods this previous game against the Edmonton Oilers. Now, before we get into the actual story of how Kubalik became Kubalik, let's go over just how good this one Czech hockey winger has been. Dominic Kubalik going back as far as the exhibition game played against the St. Louis Blues was a total beast out there for the Blackhawks. He assisted on Brandon Saad's second period goal against St. Louis, then he scored two himself on the power play each in the third period of that game. Three points in two periods. Then go over to Edmonton. And after Connor McDavid gets on the board, it is Kubalik who gets three straight assists to end off the first period. Then he scores himself two goals on the power play in the second period. Take periods two and three of game one and periods one and two of game two, and you have yourselves a Dominic Kubalik who legitimately scored eight points in the span of four periods. The most previous game, which is the actual games that we're counting for playoff hockey, are where he scored those five points to break the NHL's record of points in a playoff debut. The guy who held that record before was Daryl Evans, who scored, I think it's four. Pretty sure it's four. It doesn't say anything on Wikipedia, but it says Daryl Evans scored in game one of the 1982 division semifinals with the LA Kings. That's a good little transition there, because speaking of the LA Kings, Dominic Kubalik was actually drafted by the LA Kings. Some may ask, though, what happened, so let's go over his story here today. Dominic Kubalik was born in August of 1995, making him 24 years old today and eligible for the 2013 NHL entry draft. Born as a Czech Republic guy playing in the Czech Republic in his youth hockey, he's a guy who was a very, very good point producer at a young age, competing in hockey levels that were higher than his own age bracket. Now, this isn't the most uncommon thing in the world, we do see sometimes Czech prospects who are playing in the U20 leagues as, let's say, a 16 or 17 year old and actually doing really good things. It happens sometimes, but the likelihood of that guaranteeing NHL success in the same way that it would if it was a Swedish guy in the Super Elite or a junior Finnish guy in the Junior ASM Liga, the likelihood of that guaranteeing NHL success is lower than those other leagues. Sometimes we do see these really good 16 year olds in the Czech leagues who don't end up becoming much in the NHL. But for Dominic Kubalik, his performance with the HC Plitzen 1929 was good enough to get him drafted 27th overall by the Sudbury Wolves at the 2012 CHL import draft. Now heading into the CHL, playing his first year in 2012-2013, he was a guy who got 34 points in 67 games. He represented the Czech Republic at the U18s as a 17-year-old, getting a point per game with all of them being assists. After that season though, because he was ranked in the 190-ish range of the 2013 NHL draft, he was actually taken 191st by the LA Kings in the 7th round. The Kings were one of the better teams in the NHL at this time, just coming off of a Stanley Cup and coming off of a few really good postseason performances in that span. So this was definitely one of the later picks in the entire draft, and eventually Kubalik did get selected. His second year with the Sudbury Wolves, though, had a big improvement in the point-per-game side, because he had 23 points in 36 games. But then, he got traded to the Kitchener Rangers. He was traded with two second round draft picks in exchange for fellow Czech player Radek Faxa. And when he was with the Kitchener Rangers, the guy really didn't show all too well. He had six points in 23 games and was a minus 16. So certainly not a good performance out of the newly acquired forward compared to what they thought he could do. 
Still though, as an NHL prospect, a guy in the Kings organization, there still was some sort of a spotlight on this guy. It's just that spotlight kind of faded away after he decided to leave the OHL. He signed a contract with the HC Plitzen Hockey Club again. And because he was only 19 years old at this time, he actually suited up for different versions of that team. He was playing for their U20 team, where he was way over a point per game. He was playing in the Czech League, the pro men's league up there, where he was pretty solid with 7 points in 35 games. And he played in the second and third tier Czech Leagues too, what we would call here the AHLs or the ECHLs of the Czech Republic. He also suited up for Team Czech Republic at the World Juniors as their captain, getting a goal in five games. From then on, by the time he turned 20 and became a little bit older than that, he started taking the Czech League into his own. For the HC Plitzen in the Czech League that season when he was 20 years old, the guy got 40 points in 48 games played. The next season, he had 48 points in 51 games played, cementing himself as one of the top point producers in that entire league. It's why he got a whole bunch of awards, most goals, most power play goals, etc. Eventually though, in 2017, he signed a contract with the Ambry Piota Hockey Club in the NLA. This is a different league. We're not in the Czech Republic anymore. We have moved over to Switzerland. But actually, they loaned him immediately back to the same HC Plitzen Hockey Club with the idea that they could actually recall him back to the Swiss League anytime they wanted when one of their other four non-Swiss players went out with an injury. If you take a look at the article where it says that they signed him, it says that he's actually classified as what would be quote unquote a fifth import player. Assuming that means that they had four other import players on their team at the time, you know, some European teams have this weird thing where you have to have a certain number of players from your own country in order to actually go through. However, Dominic Kubalik did end up playing for the Ambry Piota Hockey Club, and he was pretty gosh darn good too. Over a point per game, 27 points in 25 games in his debut year. And that success continued on into his next season, 2018-19, where he had 57 points in 50 games played. But hold on, we're missing a step here. Because just over a year and a half ago in 2019, in January, the LA Kings traded the rights to Dominic Kubelik to Chicago in exchange, forget this, a fifth round pick in 2019. That's it. Eventually, later that offseason, the Chicago Blackhawks signed Kubelik to his first NHL contract. He scored a heck of a lot of goals after coming over here. He became a Calder finalist, and now he broke the record for the most points in an NHL postseason debut with five. Today, Kubelik is 24 years old. He plays both wings. He's 6'2", 179 pounds. He's got some wicked playmaking abilities, scored 46 points in 68 games, had 30 goals as a wicked wrist shot kind of player, and he's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. People are talking about this like, okay, this guy went from the Kings to the Blackhawks and people have been calling him the one that got away. This is a guy who NBC said is the Chicago Blackhawks ace up the sleeve. And for good reason too. He's leading the entire playoffs in points. He is going to be an RFA. And the fact that this guy is even here gives the Chicago Blackhawks even more cap controversies than what they were expected to have coming into this season, because nobody really thought that the random guy from the Czech Republic and the Swiss League was going to be this good. Had Kubelik just been normal, maybe getting, I don't know, 10 points, 5 goals, 5 assists, and however many games played, he wouldn't have been able to be in a position to demand a lot of money and cause even further stress on the Chicago cap. But at the same time, who cares? He's a 30-goal scorer who still has a whole bunch of time left before he hits his prime, and playing alongside of guys like Dylan Strome and Kirby Doc, there's certainly a lot of room to see what can happen in the future with this kind of sniper. It's just, thinking about it from the LA point of view, it does kind of sting. What if after you traded Tyler Toffoli, instead of calling up Gabriel Velarde, you called up Kubelik? What if you took any of the wingers in the Kings system this season and you said, hey, let's swap that guy for Dominic Kubalik, a guy who is a legit Calder contender this season? Things obviously would look a little bit better in LA, but at the same time, you guys got a fifth round pick anyway, hey? 
So, talk to me in the comments below what you think about the story of Dominic Kubalik. What do you think about this player now? What did you think about this player before when the Chicago Blackhawks traded for him? If you're a Kings fan, how much does this sting? And if you're a fan of any other team, how engaged were you in this story? Tell me all about that in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. So, that's Rolls 99. And bye.